<laughs> well, okay, okay, you know what, I think I'm gonna have to like self... Obviously, we've got we've got we've got two angles, right? Uh -huh. So we can switch back and forth depending on the cut. I want to lens from the back and become two yeah, forward faces. Okay. Like a hey, like across the <laughs> something, like a oh, okay. like a forward lean or so just back. So, no, so it looks hey, like we just hey, 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 yeah? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, let's get it going. Let's We're get going. Let's get this going. My lipstick looking good, yeah. You know how appreciation of the arts is is still. Building. Yeah, that's a good way to say it. That's building. so positive. Yeah, yeah. it's still building. Yeah. And, and I think, you know, part of it is that, you know, if you can get people to experience some creativity themselves or, you know, some process and realize, okay, there's thought that goes into this, yeah. there's consideration that goes into this, maybe that helps them to appreciate our industry better, yeah. you know? When you're talking about having a lack of appreciation for creativity. I feel like this is very closely linked to a lack of appreciation for culture, mm -hmm. which is like based on the colonial history that we've experienced and, and been subjected to. Yeah. So it's so strange that like decades after independence, we're still reinforcing a colonial structure that says that creativity is not worthwhile because we were told our creativity wasn't worthwhile yeah yeah it's hard to like release that yeah um and i remember having people like really asking me questions uh -huh. like why would you what is art why would you do that are you ever going to make money and you know also the idea that the only thing of value in life is something that produces wealth yeah yeah and yeah. not to say that we're not producing wealth mm -hmm. we are producing wealth in different ways yeah and it's not the there's main money, objective. But there's also right. different sort of wealth, like yeah. there's emotional wealth, yeah. different things that we're experiencing. Yeah. But if there is not a traditional path that equates money at the end, people don't understand what mm -hmm. you're doing. Mm -hmm. So this has been part of um, my journey. And I think this is why also I had to leave to go to art school at the, at the time when I did. You know, this was like 2001, yeah. I think. Yeah. And I think now there's more opportunities for people to study art here yeah. and like animation and filmmaking. Yeah. But at that point, it's like if you want open mindedness, you had to leave the country. Yeah. Another perspective, like we don't even have interest in, in our own things. Mm. Um, and I'm using again a generalization, but so, so what do we do about it? You know, as producers in this yeah. industry, yeah. like, do you ever feel an obligation or a responsibility. Right. Um, but because the whole point is for us to create a space in which, an industry in which we are also com consuming our own content. Yeah. You know, if you're going to keep looking towards like Hollywood, for example, to celebrate people who are not fitting a specific, um, I was going to call it dynamic, but it's not <laughs> dynamic. Um, <laughs> a specific like label or yeah, like you know just like yeah. male white yeah. uh, identities yeah. and like telling stories based around their experiences yeah. then we'll be waiting forever mm -hmm. because they can mm -hmm. celebrate one year and then as we've seen this year it's like oh shoot did we forget to include <laughs> all, all the these other. amazing people <laughs> who've yeah. been across our screens and behind in the scripts and doing all of this oh shoot sorry we forgot about you guys mm -hmm. so um this is a major problem because we're tuned from the time we are young yeah. to appreciate content that is from abroad. Yeah. yeah, We're tuned through religion, we're tuned through the stuff that we watch on television, we're tuned by what's in our cinemas, mm -hmm. what's playing on our radios. Mm -hmm. So by the time we're now adult and we're trying to find our own ways of expressing ourselves, it's conflicting with what the general population wants yeah. because they're not tuned to this new sort of, it's almost like we're remaking a language, yeah. a visual language. Yeah. So um, personally, I feel that like we just really have to force it. Yeah.